In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to duplicate entire Jamboards as well as individual slides. Hey guys, welcome back to Google Tutorials where we give the best tips and tricks to grow your confidence online. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so that you're the first to get notified every time we launch a brand new video. Duplicating Jamboards is a great idea for several different reasons. For example, you can create multiple slides and use this as a template for your own work. You can use it as a template for students to base their work off of. You can use it to show developments in work through annotations. You can allow students to have the same worksheet or page to work on either for classwork or collaboratively. Furthermore, you can use it to create master copies of Jamboards as well as copies for different classes and lessons. So let's start off by duplicating an individual slide. To do this, what we want to do is head on up to the two pieces of paper icon here. If we were to hover over it, it will say expand frame bar. And inside of Jamboard, a frame is a fancy way of saying a page or slide. If we clicked on this, it will bring up a timeline with all of our different slides that we have inside of our Jamboard. To duplicate a slide, what you want to do is head on up to the three dots for more options and click on duplicate. And now, as you can see, my slide has now been duplicated and I can drag this around inside of my presentation if I want to have an example, some information and then a template for students to use and much more. But let's say I wanted to delete this. All I need to do is head on up to the three dots for more options and click on delete. But how do you duplicate entire Jamboards? Right now, Google doesn't have a direct way of doing this, but if you head on up right to the top by the URL and head on over to the last part where it says slash viewer or slash editor, if we get rid of this and make sure it says slash copy and click enter, and it will ask you if you'd like to copy this document. If we click make a copy, and now if we head on into our Jamboard collection, as you can see, it's duplicated our previous Jamboard that we've created. And this is ready now to be shared with your class or used as a template. So now what you want to do is learn the best ways to use Jamboard for remote learning. And you can do that by clicking on the video shown on screen now. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you soon.